Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the acoustics of convenience. It's hard to say. <laughs> I get a lot of calls every day from our room forums and I always hear this statement. I want to do this, that, or the other to my room. And my next question is why? And the answer is always one of convenience. Well, I have a space. I have an opening. I think this would be a good idea. The bottom line is <clears throat> the room doesn't care what you want at all. It doesn't really matter to the room. You have to realize that the room is running on a completely set of different rules than you are, okay? Physics is the law. Everything else is a suggestion. You got to stay focused on the, the laws of physics here. I know you like to look at things. I know we like to build things. I get all of that. But you got to back up and take a deep breath and realize that we have to run and work with the laws of physics. The room only sees energy. It doesn't care about source. It only sees the energy you put in it. You can put too much energy and it'll load. You can put too little energy in it. There's a lot of different things that you can do, okay? Whoever, who made your equipment, the room could care less. I get a lot of uh, <clears throat> detailed explanation in the room form about what type of gear you, you own and this and that. The room could care less. You do obviously, because you spent money for it, but the room doesn't care. The room only sees energy. It only sees really two types, pressure and reflections. Pressure or low frequency energy, you know, below 100 cycles, and then reflection are greater than the 100 cycles, okay? Pressure, reflections, that's it, all right? The room needs you to identify and treat those issues. Now, it'll tell you what problems you, it has, where they're located, and how big they are. And that can all pretty much be done by just looking at the dimensions. It's not that complicated. Okay? What do we do when we find the problems? We use the right type of treatment, and we use the right amount. This is where a lot of people... These two types mess up a lot. And then the positioning of the treatment, okay? Just remember, everything we do in this room, all the input we put in this room is air. It's not going to make the room any better. We're introducing a bunch of things that are going to create a high air rate. So then we have to go back to treating, okay? Lots of air, lots of treatment, right amount and putting it in the right position to deal with the low frequency issues or the upper frequencies. So be careful with what you want in your room <clears throat> and stay focused on the room and you'll end up getting a room that you want in the end if you respect what the room needs. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.